hydrogen is a new area. Bergen is uh, uh, gearing itself, preparing itself, uh, and to help the country and help the industry. So again, in the same way as we have done in electronics industry and uh, solar industry, we will be very strong in converting the hydrogen again into electricity, and that's done uh, again through the fuel cells. So our fuel cells is on one area where we are going to develop our strength. I will say one word: service, and second word will be be care. So that's our strength. Hello everyone and welcome to our exclusive one on one show on renewable energy sector RE talk my guest today is an energy sector veteran who is currently the ceo of bergen associates private limited a global player in the field of electronics and solar energy segment a warm welcome to dr dn singh sir in 1983 bergen started its journey as a sales and service organization and today it has evolved into a multi company multi location and multi activity based group could you let us know more about bergen's technological prowess in the field of solar bergen uh, is a company which has been pioneering the industrialization in this country in very two critical areas electronics as well as photovoltaic and so to say solar energy in electronics they have been active since last 30 years and they have been supplying equipment for pcb manufacturing and also equipment for stuffing the pcb came 2005 and then there was a opportunity to provide equipment and technology in solar cell manufacturing because that is when the solar cell manufacturing was becoming popular all over the world Up, led by Ch- uh, Germany, they developed the technologies and equipment. But China started moving very fast, and then the scaling up was going on. And at the same time, India also that there was a lot of enthusiasm to go in solar cell manufacturing. The first company could dare to get into this was first private company. I will not say, and even I mean the first company to do it in large scale or major pair. So first eighty. Uh, Uh, megawatt and then going to 100 160 megawatt that kind of capacities they started with 40 megawatt and then 80 megawatt and then doubling up it so that company when they were setting up the first line for 40 megawatt uh, bargain uh, got into touch with them and they were looking for what technologies to bring in so there were one or two options from germany two options from germany but uh, the options offered by Bergen, that was a company called Schmidt. Uh, their technology was preferred, and the first Schmidt line, completely integrated, unturnkey basis, was done by Bergen. But the being technology being new and very complicated, the Bergen people developed a lot of strength by working shoulder to shoulder with the Schmidt people uh, on the plant during inspection, commissioning, and everything, and then they built a good. Good stand for after cell supports, after um, uh, AMCs, um, annual maintenance contracts. So that was their beginning in the solar area, solar cell manufacturing. They put up a module manufacturing line also in the motor wear. Came next, uh, the first uh, large largest cell manufacturing line at Indo Solar. So that line was also done through Smith Technology. But it was purely solar cell manufacturing. There was no module manufacturing. Then later, Chinese came into equipment manufacturing also and technology also because they had already around eighty gigawatt of installation in China around two thousand eleven twelve, and then Bergen has been working with them you know, since then, and uh, came around two thousand. To 15 or 16, I don't remember exactly. Uh, they set up the 400 megawatt line at Jupiter from a Chinese uh, collaboration. That's the ASEAN, and then they set up a 700 megawatt in the largest capacity at Adani, again with the same company. Then they set up at uh, Tata, 
and then uh, the latest is uh, Premier Solar, where they have supplied 500 megawatt line, and then of course uh, you know, this Web Sol, where they did um, certain part of the line with the Asian technology. Now Bargain works with the European and American company, few Chinese company, and uh, then supplying across the value chain. Uh, this uh, turnkey solutions and uh, uh, earlier it was only cell and module manufacturing. Right now also cell manufacturing is being offered through American and uh, European collaboration and uh, module manufacturing is still we are supplying through Chinese suppliers and then comes the ingot and wafer manufacturing when making the ingots from polysilicon material and then wafering them. That we are supplying, we are going to be supplying through a Japanese collaboration of a consortium of companies which provide equipment for wire sign and uh, blowing, etc. and crystal cooling. So when you talk about competitions, what is your edge among your competitors? I will say one word, service. And second word will be be care. So that's our strength. Because being in the field since 2005 onwards in solar cell manufacturing, module manufacturing, we have built quite a strength to support our customer from installation and commissioning onward to production ramp up. And then once production starts, then maintenance support. So we support the line and that we are able to do it because our engineers are trained along with our supplier and uh, at their premises and at the customer premises. And we have retained most of the engineers who were you know, recruited uh, to do the first plant and module bear or into solar. So that's our strength. That makes a difference. So Dr. D.N. Singh, Bargain is already an established name in the field of solar. What's there for Bargain beyond solar? So hydrogen is a new area, Bergen is uh, uh, gearing itself, preparing itself uh, and to help the country and help the industry to again in the same way as we have done in electronics industry and uh, solar industry to bring equipment and technologies uh, in hydrogen area. So that's our future plan. That's great. So what sort of progress you have made in hydrogen energy front? Uh, what we have done is that so far we have done several studies and interacted with the educational institution, research institutions across the world, mainly in Japan and uh, of course in Germany. And we are kind of in the process of deciding that with whom to do the uh, farmer agreements for supplying, like with electrolyzer. Electrolyzer is required for generating for, for green hydrogen from water. So we are working with a few companies, uh, trying to understand them and trying to see that who can give us the best results with respect to the cost of production. So that is work going on right now. What will be Bargain's contribution to the hydrogen energy segment? We may we will be very strong in converting the hydrogen again into electricity, and that's done uh, again through the fuel cells. So our fuel cells is on one area where we are going to develop our strength because that is will be connected to the PV. Once the PV electricity, solar electricity is stored in hydrogen, then we need to convert it again into electricity. Uh, for the use whenever uh, we want it. So that uh, technology, we will be the we will be the major players. And of course, we are trying to build some strength in electrolyzer also, where, which can be used to generate hydrogen. So that will be our focus area. What's the timeline you set for commercial production of hydrogen cells? Maybe two, three years time frame, even before that. There will be few companies coming up to generate hydrogen uh, at very competitive cost compared to the other two hydrogen I talked about, brown hydrogen and blue hydrogen. 
and then um, then we will be uh, kind of working with them in these two areas so dr dn singh what i understand with this entry into hydrogen energy segment bergen is on the cusp of a turning point as ceo of the company what are some of your top priorities to achieve that being so right now our emphasis is that uh, to suggest and bring appropriate technology so that after 3 years 4 years or 5 years we don't look back towards again china that oh, oh they have done that how do we get there so right now there are three major technologies being talked about the power top on and hgt so we are uh, going around and uh, telling all the investors and their teams that you see india should be doing uh, cautiously though the lift running to newer technologies and newer technology is hgt so we are talking about to several people of course we provide the equipment and uh, technology for uh, uh, park technology also and top corn technology which are the present prevailing technology but china is already moving very fast in the hgt technology and this is a time where greenfield kind of companies who are starting a fresh they should go for hgt technology so we are trying to build a very very strong technological path for providing that technology and removing the fears from the mind of the people that don't go for a beaten or established of course that that's a temptation for investor points of view if you look at they don't want to risk much thank you so much dr dn singh for making the big announcement on our channel today and telling us on how bergen is going to play a critical role in helping the nation becoming truly atmanirbhar in the energy storage as we all know hydrogen is the fuel of the future thank you so much dr dn singh so thank you so much for giving us a opportunity to talk about our company strength our vision about the country with that it's wrap on today's episode of re talk please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon